Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. Today we're in the Aviate Beat Harrier. It is the 4th of November 2020 and the way in which we use the auto bombing method has changed. It's very important that we understand this. This will affect any weapon that we use auto bombing for. So for instance, an unguided bomb or a JDAM or a laser guided bomb that we use the auto drop method with. First of all, let's show the old method. So this is the old method. I will turn on my master arm air to ground choose my bomb choose auto here put a fuse on it use my sensor of choice to create a target in this case i'm going to use a dmt unpause i'm going to find the bad guy which is some tanks on this coast stand by there they are tdc depress create the target point i then fly to the target point use the symbology and drop the bomb but this method no longer works and we can tell that because the auto symbology is not there the reason is because the auto bombing method has now been fully integrated into the eshd system on this aircraft and they have to work hand in hand for auto bombing to work so let's restart the simulation so now let's try with the eshd integration so master arm on air to ground stores select the weapon already got auto mode set the fuse next over to the eshd eshd i'm obviously i'm going to assume that you're familiar with the general controls of the aircraft we're just looking at the things that's changed so make sure the waypoint is boxed it should be a standard but ensure that it is for your reference we've got one waypoint in this mission which is waypoint one and it's roughly ahead here at no particularly useful point now i'm going to press designate what this has done is created a target point and we can tell because we've got the diamond there and if we look even further we can see we've got the target information there on top of our current steer point or waypoint one and we know that because next to the box to designate here is stp steer point another way to think about this is if you see stp here it means that the steer point the navigation point is at the same place as the target point where we're going to drop the bombs and that's very important that's all very well but it's not actually very useful because we don't want to bomb there so what we're going to do is press that air to ground target undesignate to redesignate it's not tdc depress it's tdc down we're going to undesignate now target gone we're going to unpause we're going to sensor control switch off to get the dmt out other sensors are available of course we're going to find our targets when we see our targets on the dmt we're going to press tdc down to redesignate a target ping that'll do for now so what we've got now is a new target designated there you can tell because we've got the timing and the distance to the target we've of course got the target symbology and most importantly we've got the auto bombing symbology lines now we can now go ahead and drop that bot but we need to look a little closer into this so let's go back to eshd what we've actually got now is the target created there but the steer point waypoint one is still here next to the box designate now we've no longer got a steer point we've now got a target telling us that the designation is for the target only and that the target point is not at the same place as the steer point this has implications in the new system because in fact i'll just go and show you let's go and drop the bomb press and hold pickle bomb away and oh i missed what i would usually do at this point is fly away obviously so i could have another pop at him and watch what happens when we turn in we would of course follow our navigation cues on the HUD on the heading tape here you can see this is taking us to the target but it's not of course because the target's actually over here there is the target it's actually navigating and will always navigate us to the current steer point i.e waypoint one not the target point the target point as far as this new system sees it is actually called an sd a system designated target point so as it stands sd is there steer point i.e waypoint one is there so to be able to get back to the target we have to remember to slew our current steer point which is this guy here onto the target point there to do that you're going to press and hold waypoint increment button for at least 0 0.8 seconds known as waypoint increment long watch what happens when we do that it's moved so we have to understand this in fact let me just prove to you that we are navigated back to the target now there you can see back onto the target so navigating us back to the target 
So waypoint one is still where we left it. We have not moved waypoint one. What we have actually done is slewed our steer point over to our target point. So waypoint one there, steer point and target there. This means that whenever you, if you like, undesignate and create a new target, you now must waypoint increment long to ensure that your navigation steer point is on the target. Otherwise, you can't navigate back to the target using the navigation symbology. And if we move down to the ESHD, what we can see now is firstly, the designate is showing STP, a steer point, telling us that the steer point and the target point are in the same place. If that doesn't update, sometimes it doesn't. Just click and unclick and also that the target point diamond is in the same place as the currently selected steer point there. Now also the currently selected steer point here is TO, target point zero. We can also interestingly go back to waypoint one as our steer point. Let's put back there. Let's come through and drop our bomb again and then we'll RTB and just show how we change back to that symbology. Ba, 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 ba. Bomb away. Oh lovely, I got one this time. I've now finished bombing. What we now have to do is unpress designate back to my traditional waypoints rather than a target point and we're back to normal navigation. We can go back to our old waypoint one now. That, in a nutshell, is the new system of auto bombing in the Harrier. It's going to take some getting used to because it's pretty different from anything that we've had so far. In my view, probably other planes are going to go this direction, F-18, F-16 and stuff, but we'll just have to see.